Hello, welcome back to Bucks County Beer Reviews. Today I have another of my another beer from my favorite brewery over in the UK, Samuel Smith's. Today it's the Nut Brown Ale. Yeah. Brewed at the old brewery in Tadcaster. Established 1758. Um, brewed at Samuel Smith's small traditional British brewery with well water. The original well sunk in 1758 is still in use. Um, best barley malt, yeast, and aromatic British hops. Nut brown ale is relatively dry with a rich reddish brown color. An inviting nutty flavor derived exclusively from a generous amount of roasted barley. Sam of Smith has the richest, maltiest, and nuttiest of the brown ales. That's a quote by somebody named Michael Jackson. Not the singer, I'm sure. 5% uh, alcohol by volume. And this is a 12-ounce bottle. Usually a lot of the European brews come in 11.2-ounce bottles. 355 milliliters. <clears throat> um, according to Untapped, it, gets, it has 30 IBUs. And it gets a 3.60 out of 84,000 reviews. Now let's get it open. See what the cap looks like under this foil. Come on. Ah, the foil don't want to come off. Come on, you can do it. Ah, it's just a plain cap. All right, so got this glass today. Look at that. Isn't that nice? You see some light through it. The dark, dark colored beer, dark caramel. Kind of dark amber. It does have kind of a nutty aroma. Nutty and malty. Let's see what the head tastes like. It's got a nice rich flavor. Ah. Maltiness. Let's see what the body tastes like. Cheers. Very nice malty flavor. The nuttiness is a little bit <clears throat> kind of in the background. Um, it's good. I like it. It's a mellow beer. Mellow, malty. Uh, sweetness. Isn't very high, it's medium. Bitterness is very low. It says 30 IBUs, but I can't really pick that up too much. Kind of has a creaminess to it, creamy mouthfeel. Medium sweetness, low bitterness, very good flavor. Samuel Smith has not let me down <clears throat> on any of their beers so far. They're all good. 
I think I like the pale ale, the organic pale ale, a little bit better than this one. And I just noticed that this one doesn't say organic on them, on it, on it. All the other ones are organic chocolate stout, organic pale ale. They have an organic lager that I'm going to try. <clears throat> they have an organic IPA and they have, I think they have organic imperial stout. This one does not say organic on it, so I guess it's not organic. Fermented in stone Yorkshire squares. Okay. And these are not that expensive. Uh, $10.99 for a four pack. And that's the price on all the different styles. I guess I'd score this one A minus. 90 out of 100. It's very good though. Nice lacing. That's it. Give it a try if you can find it. It's worth a try. <clears throat> and I'm going to say goodbye. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. See ya.